love cornbread around here. It's one of our favorite breads to make and we eat it pretty often. We'll eat it uh, for several days till it's gone. Sometimes we use the leftovers for cornbread and milk. We really enjoy it. But sometimes we're just in a hurry and we wish we had some cornbread, but we don't necessarily have the 20 or 25 minutes for it to bake in the oven. So in those cases, we make fried cornbread. Now there's all kinds of fried cornbread recipes out there. Some people, you can make it as simple as hot water and cornmeal. That's it. That's all you need. Other people um, add an egg and flour and different things. A lot of times what I'll do is I'll use my the same cornbread recipe that I make to put in the oven. I mix that up, but I just fry it in the pan. Well, fried cornbread is just think of like a pancake, like how you do pancakes. Um, or you could do it in little... Um, kind of like spoonfuls and you could do it like hush puppies. Those are two different ways that you would fry cornbread. But we typically do it like think of a pancake, a cornbread pancake. Um, and as I said, there's many different recipes out there. I'm gonna share one with you today. The easiest recipe of all is usually the one that I use. It's just corn, now you need cornmeal mix is what I'm using today. So it, a mix means that it already has the leavening in there. It's already in there. So I'm using a self-rising cornmeal mix and then buttermilk and that's it. That's the only two ingredients you need. So for the recipe I'm doing today, I'm actually half in it, but the real recipe is two cups of self-rising cornmeal and one and one half cups of buttermilk. You mix it together, mix it really well, and then let it sit for 10 minutes before you start frying it in the pan. And you can fry in whatever grease of your choice that you like. Bacon grease is especially good, side meat or fat back grease, or just um, vegetable oil or olive oil or lard, whatever it is that you prefer. So I've already got my cornmeal and buttermilk mixed up. We're gonna go over to the stove and fry some. But before that, I was gonna to read to you out of John Paris's book, Mountain Cooking. He's talking about cornbread. So when we, and he's, John Paris, if you didn't know, he wrote primarily about Western North Carolina, the mountains of Western North Carolina. When we think of cornbread nowadays, we think of the baked in a skillet kind, but the term covers a heap of kinds from the whole cake of Civil War times up to the melting softness of spoon bread. As a matter of fact, cornbreads, yep, that's right, cornbreads include ash cakes, johnny cake, crackling bread, corn muffins, corn sticks, spoon bread, mush bread, egg bread, corn dodgers, batter cakes, corn pone, and corn light bread. First of the cornbreads was ash cakes. Cornmeal batter was rolled into small portions and baked in the hot ashes in a campfire or on the hearth. Sometimes such cakes were placed on a clean board in front of the fire and cooked. This was called Johnny cake. And sometimes a hoe was used instead of a board, the batter being spread on the blade and leaned toward the fire, and the product was known as a hoe cake. When I was a boy, Grandma still did a lot of her cooking on the hearth fire. She made both Johnny cake and hoe cake. Johnny cake and hoe cake. It is also called journey cake, though, for, by some people. And for some reason, my druthers turned to hoe cake. Maybe it was the attraction of seeing cornbread baking on the hoe blade turned to the fire. Sometimes Grandma just swept off the hearth with a turkey feather duster, rubbed the stone hearth with a piece of bacon rind, poured the cornmeal batter right out on the hearth, and let it bake. There was no special name for this kind of cornbread. We called it Johnny Cake too. Another name that I've heard fried cornbread called is journey cake. That's why I got confused there and said, instead of Johnny, said journey. So I always heard the story that fried cornbread was easier to take along on a trip, on a journey, because it was easier to buy the campfire there to fry up a piece of cornbread that way than worry about baking it. Sydney Sailor Farr, uh, another one of my, it's my favorite Appalachian cookbook, actually, More Than Moonshine. I know it's still readily available if you'd like to check it out. But she has uh, some recipes for different, for hoe cakes and johnny cakes and different cornbreads. But this is what she says about johnny cakes. Granny Brock cooked little cakes of cornbread, which she called johnny cakes. As a child, I wanted to know everything. And after the in inevitable question one day, she replied that she supposed bread baked that way was called johnny cake because one time some pioneer woman was fixing supper and her little boy was hungry. She told him she'd fix him a little cake of cornbread 
and it would be Johnny's cake. Later, the thin, crisp corn cakes baked in a skillet or griddle on top of the hot stove lid came to be called Johnny cakes. So along with all those that John Paris was describing, fried cornbread is just another way to eat cornbread. He was primarily talking about baking them on the hearth there, still baking, whether or not it was on a hoe or just right there on the, like he said, she would dust out a place his grandmother would, or if they were, um, shaping them into little balls and letting them bake that way. But fried cornbread is just another way to use cornmeal in Appalachia. So to fry the cornbread, you need to get your pan hot and get your grease hot. We're using side meat grease because that's what we're having for supper tonight. But as I said, any would work. And then it's just a matter of just like a pancake, you just put your batter out in there and let it cook on each side. And then you've got fried cornbread and it's really good. So here's the finished product. Here's the fried cornbread. I'll try to break open a piece so that you can see the inside there. It's really good, like what we're gonna have tonight while I cooked it, was we're gonna have soup beans, fried cornbread, kill lettuce, and side meat. So it's really good like that. It's really good, um, you could use it for breakfast, just like a pancake. You could put jelly or syrup or whatever you wanted to on it. If you're a cornbread fan like I am, it's good if you don't put anything on it. One of my favorite ways to eat fried cornbread though is I make pepper jelly. I'll share that recipe with you later on. It's the John C. Campbell Folk School's uh, pepper jelly recipe. But that's one of my favorite ways is just to put a little bit of pepper jelly on a piece of cornbread, on a piece of corn, fried cornbread and eat it that way. I think it's especially good that way. But it's good. If you didn't even put nothing on it, it's good. If you like cornbread, you'll probably like this. But I hope you'll leave a comment and let me know. Are you a fan of fried cornbread? Have you ever had it? And if so, what do you call it? Just fried cornbread or do you call it one of those names? Like John Paris was talking about, Johnny Cakes or um, fl cornbread flitters. Some people call it that or cornbread pancakes. But mostly, as always, I just hope you'll keep dropping back by to help me celebrate Appalachia.